now time to take a trip to Tinseltown with our latest Hollywood headlines, friends. Paramount Pictures, our bosses, have released the official trailer for Gladiator 2. Oh, look. I remember that day. I never forgot it. That a slave could take revenge against an emperor. Where were you born? I don't know. I never knew a mother nor a father. You will be my instrument. Who are you? Denzel. Hey, Denzel. <laughs> so they showed them filling the Colosseum full of water. And I was like, whoa, they really did that? And I said this to Caroline, there it is right there. And she goes, yeah, dummy, I've been teaching this for like 100 years. Did you not know that? I was like, no, they would do like water battles and people would cheer on and That's stuff. Crazy. Yeah. By the way, I'm sorry, I got the title wrong. It's Gladiator 2 Electric Boogaloo. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> the long way sequel to Ridley Scott's original film, which came out in 2000, is directed again by Scott. Gladiator 2 stars Paul Mescal. Pedro Pascal, and Denzel Washington. Your name's got to end with an L. <laughs> uh, Mescal plays a grown-up Lucius, the character portrayed as a child in the first oh, film by Spencer Treat Clark. Pe Pedro Pascal plays a Roman general who trained under Russell Crowe's character Maximus in the original Gladiator. It's set to hit theaters on November 22nd. Are you not Ooh. entertained? Goodness. Well, an upcoming TV uh, legal drama is getting some more star power. E! News reports that Halle Berry and Glenn Coase will uh, join Kim Kardashian as stars of the new Hulu drama series All's Fair. The three women will also serve as executive producers, along with co-creator Ryan Murphy. In the series, Kardashian will play the role of a top divorce attorney at an all-female law firm in Los Angeles. No word yet on the roles that Berry and Close will play. Um, and I couldn't remember if, if Kim had gotten her law degree. She did not. She finally passed mm. the baby bar, took a few times, mm. um, but she's put her law degree on hold. I, I don't mean this to sound as snarky as it's going to sound. Mm. Kim Kardashian, who has no acting experience, is going to be in scenes with Glenn Close and Halle Berry. <laughs> Academy Award winners. <laughs> I just, I mean, like, that's tough. Like, they're... Yeah, I, you're going to have to level up. Yeah, level up. I mean... Uh, John, you'll be into this news. The Impractical Jokers are back for their 11th season on Thursday. I know you love those guys. The mm -hmm. series follows three lo lifelong friends in their contest to pull off the most outrageous dares. The loser, of course, suffers an extreme yet comical punishment. <laughs> like appearing on Good Day. That's right. The Good dares day. are captured by hidden cameras and are in public. You can catch the debut Thursday night on TBS. Uh, I love the show. I'm glad they're coming back. I had no worries they wouldn't because they fill like 60% of the schedule. Yes, on the network. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they were on is. True TV before. Right. But like they're on almost all the time. And, and it's always and, a good watch. And it's been the three of them for the last two seasons, Couple, right? Yeah. Yes. Something happened. Joe Gatto left the group. Hmm. It was all very hush hush. Yes, it yes. was. I don't know. Show's still funny, though. Yes, it is. Hilarious. My husband loves it.